Good evening, everyone. I hope y'all had a great 4th of July holiday. As you know, today is July the 5th, 2023. And uh, I'm making this video, man, about a conversation that I have with God sometimes, right? With my God. I don't, you know, I'm speaking for my, me and my God and our relationship. I can't speak for your God. I don't know who your God is or even if you even believe in God. I don't know. But that ain't what this is about. So, uh, I depend on my God for everything. Everything I want, everything I need, all my desires, my health, everything. That's what I believe. That's what I depend on. I know a lot of people think I'm an atheist because of some of my views, but I'm actually not an atheist. And uh, I'm a firm believer in God, but I just don't believe in everybody else's God because there's a million, million gods in the world, you know, according to different religion, depending on what part of the world you're born in. With that being said, this is about a conversation I have with God on a regular basis because I have big dreams, a lot of hopes and, and wants and desires that I want to live and do before I, you know, leave this, this earth, you know, before I die, right? So sometimes I get frustrated because it's not happening fast enough. I don't have everything I want at the moment. I have everything I need, and God has always provided everything I need, even if it ain't what I wanted. I've always had a roof over my head. Even if it wasn't a mansion, I've had somewhere to stay. I always had something to eat, even if it wasn't steak and lobster. He's always provided my needs, right? But this video is about them wants. It's the wants that destroy me that have me depressed and have me feeling down and out and feeling like a failure sometimes because I don't have all my wants. The wants are deadly if you ain't careful. The things that you want. Now, I'm like, God, you know, when are you going to do this? When are you going to do that? You know what I've been wanting. You know what I've been asking you for. Why is it taking so long? Where is it? And... I sat and you be, you be quiet, you have to be quiet and listen. And the reply was, what good, or how much fun, how exciting would life be if you had everything you wanted right now, all at one time? Just imagine, everything you want, you got it right now. I ain't talking about your needs, I'm talking about everything you want, whether it be money, cars, houses, cars, whatever. Whatever your wants are. Everything you can even think of wanting, you got it right now. What else is there to do now? How much more, how exciting will life be? What you got to look forward to now? What you here for now? You know, you got it, it's even like, now life boring. When you look at it, you know, you're like, damn. I never thought about it like that. Now at least if I don't have, I got something to strive for. I got something to push for. I got something to, to wake up for and to go after. To, I, I got challenges. And, to, and it's like, okay, that, that makes sense. I don't, I don't want everything right now. I want to have something to look forward to. You know how it is. You remember how when you was a child, how exciting it was? Even though you might have already had toys or whatever, but you, it was something exciting about Christmas. Waiting on your Christmas toys to get here. You're excited to get something you ain't already have. You wasn't you you weren't tripping on what you already got. You was excited about what you were finna get. You already probably got a, a room full of toys, a house full of toys. Some people did. Some people had that ain't you know. I don't mean no harm by that. But remember how excited you was about the things you was about to get. That's what made Christmas so exciting, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm my, the, the, uh, the, the, the lead up to it, the things that you know I ain't got this, I'm, but I'm about to get it though. I've been wanting it, and now I'm finally finna get it. You know, I remember how good that felt. I'm finally finna get it. But if you already got it, you already got everything. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing to be excited about. Like, oh well. So when you see a toy, like if you already, you're, you're a billionaire. You already got. It. Like you see these people. The billionaire, right? That just got on the that submarine that imploded or whatever. And people were like, people like us, like, man, what the hell wrong with them people? What are they doing? 
They got all that money. That's the best thing they can think to come up with. Talk about going down a submarine to look at a a wreck of the Titanic. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do than that. You got all that money. Exactly. They ain't got nothing better to do. They already done did everything. They can't think of nothing else to do. They got everything. So now they got to start coming up with stupid shit to do, like going down there to see the Titanic in a little box, a little, a little tin can. So that's what that'll do to you when you already got everything. It'll have you doing stupid shit like that. Who in their who right mind going to go, you know, if I had, you, you would say, well, if I had that kind of money, I wouldn't be doing that. You probably would because you done ran out of stuff to do. You got so much money, you done did everything. Ain't nothing else to want now. Ain't nothing else to desire. Ain't nothing else to look forward to. So now your life, you just just trying to come up with something to do. And you end up doing stupid shit like that. But people like us that's, you know, that don't have everything, we, we still got stuff to look forward to. So it ain't good to have everything you want right now. It's good to have something to look forward to. To, uh... To thrive for, to shoot for, to be ambitious about, to keep working on, and finally get it and have that, that feeling of achievement uh, and that rewarding feeling of I finally got it. I finally accomplished something that I've been trying to do for years. So when you're sitting around wondering, like, what God at? You know, what God, what's taking you so long? I've been wanting this for so long. Why you want to help me? He is helping you. It feels better when you get it over time than when you get all at one time. Next thing up, you get everything at one time. You're going to be the next fool down there going down there trying to see the Titanic. Because you done got everything you wanted. So, just be patient. Be excited about what's to come because it's coming. It's coming in due time and God got it set up like that for a reason. To where you don't have everything you want all at one time. That's by design. That's to give us something to look forward to. Something to strive for. Something to uh to work towards. That's what life all about, man. Setting goals and accomplishing them. Doing the little steps and, and, and the little things that you need to do to accomplish your goals. That's what it's all about right there, man. So I was like, okay, God, I get you, man. And I, and I appreciate you for taking your valuable time to even answer somebody like me. Because you ain't got to answer me. You don't owe me no explanation at all. And you still took the time to explain that to me like that. It ain't good to have everything you want right now it'll have you losing your mind you ain't got nothing else to live for because you got everything you want right now now what what you gonna do now besides go down in a little tin can trying to see the titanic that's why the people was doing them folk being there man they didn't bought all the Lamborghinis they can buy they didn't bought all the ferraris they can buy they got all the mansions they can buy they done seen every part of the earth they can see now what well, let me see. What can I do next? Let me go down here and see the Titanic. I ain't got nothing else to do. That's how they end up doing that. I don't want to be them people. I look, I look, I thank you, God, for allowing me to still have something to look forward to, and to know that I'm still, I'm, a, I'm gonna get it. And I don't need to have everything I want. It ain't good to have everything you want. Would you get your child, even if you able to get your child everything they want? Would you do it? Is it, is it a good idea? If you're a billionaire or whatever, a millionaire, would you give your child everything they want? What's that going to do to them? It's going to make them into some idiots. So, I want to thank God for that, that answer, and I want to thank y'all for watching this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel, and you have a beautiful day.